Hello and welcome to this Feed the Beast Revelation! Feed the Beast 1.12 Minecraft from the Craft and Oracle server. Modern Minecraft at its best, I hope. I hope you're alright. I hope you are alright. Yay! Today we are going to do some rustic stuff. We're going to continue with rustic. I know that you guys like the, the old rustic. Uh, mod and so uh, we have this here of course uh, the French vineyard there's not much vineyard about it though we don't have an actual wine farming device and that might be something we look into very very soon uh, but for now we have this rustic brewing going on and it, it's completely manual right we, uh, we basically put in uh, stuff here and we get wild berry wine out of it Although I gotta say, this, I think this is broken, to be honest. I think this is broken. But uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll have to uh, see what we can do with this. I mean, this is just ridiculous, isn't it? So I put in 0 0.58 and I get out 0 0.08. Yeah, that is, it's broken somehow. So maybe, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have to investigate what that is all about. But the thing is, I have been wondering, guys, I've been wondering, what can you do to automate these things and what can you do to automate the rustic brewing uh, as in the alchemy stuff uh, or rather this stuff right where we can make our shiny fire resistance elixirs and so on what can you do to automate it so i built a little basement down here just following along in the rustic uh, theme and then the cool thing is I, I like this idea right of just going around here and changing some of these out that chiseling them out now you can't do that with these I've just put them up here just these basic clay walls because I know that I'm gonna have to expand this somehow and I've started thinking about how this can connect to our stuff that we have down here <clears throat> where I think this thing is still uh, slowly producing RF for our tree farm that is nice that is nice and speaking of the tree farm I need to swap that thing out because you know what the rustic stuff with the olive oil that just doesn't work out it's it's broken it doesn't it doesn't work now i keep saying that my rustic things are broken yeah so what that means by, by the way is that we no longer need these olives but we do need wood and you can't do everything with olive wood that you can do with uh, for instance oak i keep saying that rustic stuff is broken guys so why do i keep pressing on with it well i really like the aesthetics of the mod and i really like the idea of wine brewing and I'm hoping I can get that to work now that I see that it might be broken. But um, yeah. Uh, also, I have some rustic news. I have some rustic news, guys. The mod author is making Rustic 2. Yeah. For Minecraft 1.13, he's making Rustic 2. He started development on it not very long ago at all and that is looking to be really awesome if you head over to be to the uh, feed the beast reddit forums you should be able to find the post where he talks about it and uh, you can go and uh, give him suggestions on what you want to see do you want to see more brewing do you want to see more uh, interesting crops do you want to see what, what what do you want to see do you want to see more blocks what is it you want from the rustic mod go and let the mod author know on reddit uh, yeah, but anyway guys, uh, let's see here. So we want I want to today try and automate some of this stuff Or I want to at least see You know how much you can automate so this stuff here where you jump on the thing that's kind of boring Yeah, and, uh, you know, you don't want to do that forever, you know stand around jumping here to make wild berry juice and plus, it feels a bit unhygienic. I mean, I have boots of black quartz. God knows where they've been, honestly. <laughs> so, we want to see if we can maybe uh, extract the fluid some other way, first of all. Right? And then we want to uh, see if we can fuel it into this uh, brewing thing automatically and pipe it out. And then we want to see, you know, if we can maybe even figure out a way to compare this quality wine with that quality wine to determine what we want to keep that's uh, 
that's um, that's the plan and we're gonna try and do some of it down here so you know what we're gonna do guys I'm gonna do some experiments off camera and then I will come back and let you know how I'm doing and tell you all about it oh and before I forget I got a comment on my rustic video a negative comment guys that person said well I was expecting you to show me how to do ale in rustic and you didn't and you promised you would do it and yes I did and I'm really sorry guys here it is so to produce ale you need ale worth and ale worth is made from sugar bread and a bucket of water so you make some bread with barley like that you place that in there you place the sugar in there then you place the uh, water bucket in there and then you get a bucket of ale worth and then you can use that in the exactly the same manner as all the other things so you can put it in a barrel uh, do we even have an empty barrel here somewhere? Uh, you can put it in a barrel anyway, and uh, thus brew your ale. And uh, if you don't recall, there is this almanac. And you can look up here what the different alcoholic beverages have effect-wise. So, uh, 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 if we see here, uh, ale is very saturating. So you get the full stomach effect, which decreases the damage taken from starvation. Uh, cider applies magic resistance. Iron wine uh, gives you absorption hearts, much like a golden apple, which is probably pretty darn good. Um, and mead, which is made from the honey, if you recall, uh, applies the wither ward, which totally is really good. I mean, imagine you play on vanilla, but with rustic on it, and you're going to fight the wither. Mead is the thing to bring. Uh, wild berry um, strengthens all the other effects that you have gotten from alcohol. Uh, and wine finally strengthens, strengthens the duration of all other effects you have. Now the thing is though, you can drink too much. You can drink too much, just like in real life guys. <laughs> and uh, that's not good, so you need to be a little bit careful with it. Anyway, so that's how you do Aleworth, and actually, uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to set up Aleworth as well, or Ale production as well as the others. So we need to increase the number of barrels here to five. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so we have some sort of results here, and uh, they're uh, mixed results, mixed results, guys. But there are some elements of this that you can automate. First of all, you can definitely get around using the crushing tub. Um, you don't need to use it. I will show you how in a second. Uh, you can also automatically take things from the crushing tub and insert them into the brewing barrel. However, they will always go in this slot here. So you can't do with the uh, with the pre-wine, if you will. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> and you can't extract items from the barrel, as far as I can tell. But you can fill it up. Okay, so let's go down and have a look at what we got. So first of all, uh, you can just place all the uh, all the berries and such that you have in here, and they will go into this centrifugal separator, where they will be made into liquid. And uh, this thing is just set up so that it uh, imports from the top from the chest, and it extracts to the right in this case. I had some experiments here with other things, but they didn't pan out. So things end up in this barrel. And then we have a mechanical user here from Extra Utilities to, uh, that use glass bottles with a right click on the barrel. Basically doing this. Yeah, okay. So it didn't do it now. So then what happens is that we have some uh, normal item ducts here with just a normal servo uh, from the mechanical user with a white list of, in this case, well berry use, juice, into the barrel. And they will end up here. Once there is enough stuff in here, oh, which there won't be for, them for a while here now, because there's wine in this thing. How about that? There we go. Yep. So then they end up here. Like that. And the brewing process starts. Now, if you have good wine here, wild berry wine, you will then of course get a better product. Now there is no way, as far as I can tell, I can extract the bottles back into the user, but there is no way for me to extract these things that end up here. 
that I can think of. If you know, guys, if you know, let me know. <laughs> so that's that's the result of that experiment. So in theory, right, uh, we can have uh, all of these crushing tubs replaced by systems like this. So we can do one for wine, one for wildberry, and one for uh, iron. Uh, Iron wine and one for the mead. Um, however, for the aleworth, I don't think you can do the same thing. However, you should be able to set up a mechanical user uh, again to produce the aleworth. Uh, then you need to have a wheat farm of some description and then take it from here and in, right? So here we go automatically produced wild berry wine. So that's the first step of today, right? Now the next step here is I want to look at the um, alchemic condenser, the advanced one, and see what we can do with this one, okay? So we have several inputs here. We have, first of all, we have a uh, fuel input, we have a bottle input, we have a water input, and then we have ingredients here, four of them to be more specific, right? And then we have one output, which is the uh, finished potion. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna basically take this down, uh, move it down here, and see what we can do. What happens when we put some item ducts and stuff like that connects, connected to this thing. And we'll see where we end up, guys. We'll see where we end up. Alright. <laughs> so this is a complete failure, guys. It cannot be done. I've tried everywhere. I've tried all the things. Uh, it just doesn't connect with things. And uh, you can't put things in here. So, like you see, the fluid ducts just for putting water in it uh, wouldn't work. And uh, I'll show you with the hopper as well here. Uh, I thought that you could maybe put hopper on each one of these because they these uh, pretty much uh, correspond to these three slots here. And I think that would have been a cool little thing. So, but uh, yeah, for instance, we can have iron nuggets in in that one here one of these here um, but yeah nothing happens and it's the same if you try the item ducts yep it just cannot be done it seems so I think the thing is you gotta realize guys rustic is made not for automation but for manual stuff really so uh, it, it, it makes perfect sense to me that this is not fully automatable uh, but uh, of course I would have liked some automation because some of these things that we do. Oh, by the way, did you know that even though this is a liquid barrel and it looks like it's really uh, flimsy, it actually retains its liquid when we break it. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, so it's it's kind of it, it makes sense, but some of the moments or some of the things you do here are quite annoying. So I would have liked to, for instance, be able to. Keep it supplied with uh, fuel, maybe, and water, and bottles, and then have to manually put in the ingredients, maybe, or something like that. That would have been a cool compromise. But alas, no such luck. Now, what we have done, though, is we have managed to do this, and I am quite happy with this, actually. So, you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to set up one of each of these for, uh, well, at least this, right? This. I'm going to, in between episodes, stuff one of the, uh, each of these for, and probably this. Although I would like to have some more control of, over the actual barrel, maybe, for each of the things that we can do anyway. So, uh, the last thing here to do today is to look at the crops. So, we have wine and wild berry bushes. Now, first of all, we can easily probably use the uh, this method here to do... Uh, with the plant gatherer to do the trees uh, because and, and in that way get iron berries for our iron brew <laughs> as it were so this brown or gray stuff over here um, and so what I'm gonna test now is to put wine and wild berry bushes in the same machine and see if they are harvestable in that manner. I suspect the bushes might be, but I doubt that the wine will be. But uh, we'll give it a go and we'll give, we'll uh, be back with the results, guys. Alright guys, we have some results of this test. So I planted this bush here 
and I'll show you what happens when we uh, have berries on it. It's quite revolutionary. Absolutely nothing happens. <laughs> yeah, so that doesn't work. Ow, I'm in a tree. Darn it. Get out of this tree. Yeah, so that does not work, guys. That does not work. However, mechanical users. Mechanical users to the re rescue. As you can see, this works. If you set it to activate block with item, you have nothing in it to begin with. Activate block with item, right click, and you can do random slot and always active. Yeah, so uh, there were three in there, now there are six. It does also work to some extent with the wine, okay? So behold what happens now. It looks like it's working, right? But it's empty. And that is because it goes into this absorption hopper. And that's my little solution. Let's have a look here if we do it without the hopper. We'll see what happens. Disappears. But then it sort of ends up on top of the doohickey. Well, I don't know where it went now, to be honest. Anyway, this this uh, doesn't seem to want to uh, allow allows to pick it up. Yeah, that's there you go. Ends up on top like that. But of course, you can just place a hopper like that, absorption hopper, and you're uh, you're golden. Yeah. So we can gather that that we can gather wild berries we can gather wine we can gather um iron berries with with a normal tree farm um, and uh, i'm sure you can extract a honeycomb as well from from the uh, beehives i haven't tried it um but we might try that later on sometime and i've shown you how to do aleworth however i haven't shown you how to automate it in any way so then you could have Whatever it is you collect automatically, end up in this chest, and then gets fluided automatically. And then, furthermore, gets put into a bottle and into the brewing barrel. However, you would have to manually keep track of the seed, so to speak, and you would have to manually extract your products. That's where we're at, guys. <laughs> That's where we're at. You know what? I feel that I've had a really nice learning experience with this stuff um, and it's cool that you can do it even though it's not meant to be done oh well um, even though it's not meant to be done clearly rustic is meant to be quite uh, low-key and uh, non automatable but you can do certain things and I think that is awesome I mean I'm gonna leave this stuff running now these two at least and get a lot of wine or uh, sort of grape juice and wildberry juice as a result and that is really cool guys <laughs> but anyway that's gonna have to be it for today thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you liked the episode leave a like and subscribe guys and also check out my other stuff i'm running a 1.13 snapshot series at the moment called prismarine bay which is awesome and of course we're doing lionheart we're doing tutorials we're doing base race we're doing time lapses the channel is full of stuff so Subscribe and also click that little bell so that you get notified when I get more uh, more videos out to you Anyway, we'll be back next week with another revelation I'll tell you that and then we might continue with this we might continue with the AE2 stuff We might begin with something new who knows We might even build something <laughs> But until then guys have a good week and bye